This is Steve Mnuchin. He's at Davos and he's talking climate change. Jesus Christ, this is one of the this is one of the most repulsive freeze frames I've ever seen. And we haven't even gotten to the clip yet. So the, is the current we've got a two year or a five year window to prevent the total demise of, of civilization it is i mean is it do you believe that we're that close no to- no i i don't believe we're that close and what i would just comment is there are a lot of other important issues obviously this health issue and what's going on the potential of of health issues spreading uh, nuclear but proliferation clean air, uh, if you look at the virus in a, china there's a virus coming out of china which by the way Taken on their own terms, the Trump administration, along with, I mean, after the Clinton era, too, I mean, global public health has been starved of funding, uh, Medicare for all, uh, investing in, you know, global public health. Obviously, Trump administration not doing that. And climate change. I don't know about this this flu, although I, I would assume if it comes from agriculture, that definitely has something to do with climate and ecological policies. And the spread of other diseases have to do with, um, you know, things like malaria outbreaks definitely relate to climate and uh, and 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 disease outbreaks in cities. I think uh, Mnuchin's concern with the uh, neuro- the virus going around China is uh, the cities that are not transporting goods and the workers that aren't going to the factories. Oh, without a doubt, and also just like, hey, yeah, me, my wife keeps hassling me to uh, to get a bunker for us in New Zealand. Okay. Of, of health issues spreading, uh, right. nuclear proliferation. Clean air, uh, if you look particulate at, pollution. If you look at the water. Middle East, the president has made very clear Iran can never have a nuclear weapon. Mm-hmm. Nothing against the climate issue. That's a much better risk. Uh, it's much bigger risk right. today. And I think that the youth needs to understand climate is one issue that needs to be put but, in but context me, with lots of... Wait, Iran's going to destroy civilization Iran is with a nuclear bomb? With a nu- something they don't have which they're, we are an infinitely bigger threat to them than they are to us, is a bigger threat than something that to the extent we can measure it or have any type of scientific consensus, as well as just experience now, because we're already experiencing climate catastrophes, um, threatens the very basis upon which humans walk around. Coming is like, well, you pull out the Iran deal. I guess we just have to destroy the world with a nuke now. That's, that's exactly that's how right. Iran operates. Yeah, that's how Iran operates, and they totally have the physical capacity to do that. But again, their ideology dictates that this is what they do. If you are want to do capitalism, you have to deny science. And by the way, it makes most democratic plans totally incoherent. Sorry, Brendan Sutton made this point the other day on my show. If you're going to run around and say, we accept the science. Well, if you accept the science, you can't drill anymore. You have to completely, you have to rapidly de- deploy renewables. You need to build train systems. You need to reforest. You, I mean, these things need to happen immediately. So just culturally signifying that you accept science while continuing to do capitalism is completely incompatible. Capitalism is on a collision course of planet Earth. And so, you know, this the sociopathy of Mnuchin is true. It's it's correct. And we all know, again, when the right starts, quote, accepting the science of climate, well, we'll have a whole other round of violence against migrants and refugees. So please look at the bigger picture here.